who is going to give us our safety evacuation instructions. Okay. Hey, good morning, everybody. Let me start at the time, right? Um, yeah, we should have to evacuate again. Our meeting to go to stairwells. There's one right down the hall on the right where you go past Dennis' desk. Start with the stairwells on the left, all right? And when we exit out of the building, we ask everybody to gather uh, right around the corner at Main and Grammy right here where the old Baltic stationery is. And Bobby helped get the head count of everybody there, okay? Um, as far as first aid kits and AEDs, there's a fire extinguisher there, first aid kit right down the hallway here on the right. All right, there's a first aid kit at Janet's desk. And if there's any medical or fire issues, my office is right down the hall, Bobby and Bobby, that's where it is. So just come and get me, all right? And, but if all else fails, if you're having an issue and nobody's around, don't hesitate to call 911, okay? Um, the last thing I'd like to mention is our blue light system that's in the overhead. That strobe will flash, but there's no audible for that. But that just indicates that there's an active threat on this floor. So before we go running out of the boardroom, let's get situation awareness. It may be safer to shelter in place before you go out in the hall. Okay. But just so you know, resources are coming to help address that. All right. So any questions? Okay, have a good meeting. Thanks. Thank you. And I'm going to, Kate is here. She's just in another room because we are limited to 10 in here. Um, Kate, did you want to go through the COVID-19 safety procedures and the virtual meeting procedures? Yes, Madam Chair. Thank you. Uh, just wanted to make everyone aware we are still limited to the number of individuals that can be in the boardroom. So you, the full board is physically present um, with Director Rose Vaughn and ancillary staff. We are in a room adjacent to the board meeting and we have our console participating virtually. So we are um, maintaining distance and wearing masks and doing all the procedures we should be for COVID-19. Uh, also, going right into the virtual meeting announcements, the law allowing for virtual meetings during pandemic places special obligations to ensure we continue to promote meaningful public access and participation. The meeting is being recorded. On the recording will be posted on our website. We ask that you keep your video on, but that is not a requirement. It is a requirement for all board members to be able to hear each other's voices. Please mute when you are not speaking. The meeting must be suspended for any broadcast interruption until public access is restored. All votes must be recorded in roll call fashion. We will do so alphabetically by last name, so please be ready when your name is called. Uh, and also would like to officially take this time to introduce our guest, Heather Lockerman, who's the Senior Assistant Attorney um, General from the AG's office, who's here with Elizabeth P. today. And I wanted to also welcome back Bonnie Davis. Uh, administrative assistant. We're very happy to have Bonnie back with us. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, so can I get a motion to approve the agenda, please? So moved. Can I get Second. A, all right. Um, we've got to take a roll call vote. Ma'am, could individuals making the motions please introduce who they are so we have accurate response? Uh, the motion was um, Captain Coleman, second was, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Coleman, second was Mr. McDermott. Thank you very much. Roll call vote. Uh, all in favor say aye. Opposed say nay. Captain Avery. Aye. Mr. Bean. Aye. Captain Callis. Aye. Captain Chisman. Aye. Mr. Coleman. Aye. Captain Collins. Aye. Mr. Host. Aye. Mr. McDermott. Aye. And Ms. Parasol. Aye. That's unanimous, Madam Chair. All right. So the next is the approval of the minutes. We had three sets of minutes to be approved. Do we have, can I get a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. That was Mr. Host. Madam President. Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, relevant or change is necessary, but on our committee meeting minutes, for February um, 16th. We had other members of the public that were included in that meeting that weren't listed in the minutes. I don't know if they need to be listed in the minutes. They do not need to be listed. Okay. 
I have a couple grammatical errors that uh, need to be cleaned up. Um, let's see, this is page five of 43, the, well, actually, third paragraph. First line um, Council to Virginia Pilots Association should be singular, Pilot Association. And also, more um, page nine of 43, second paragraph, the uh, six, sixth line. And uh, I know, I guess this is part of the letter, so uh, uh, maybe it should stand like it is, but it says Captain Edmonds submitted to a blood alcohol breath test. I don't know. I think it would be like a blood test or a breath test, but not a blood breath test. And I don't know whether that was his writing. But, um, this seems a little, a little odd. <laughs> I don't know which it was. I guess it says uh, which read zero point zero zero blood alcohol content. So I don't know if we scratched the breath test on there or. These letters are cut and pasted into the document. So if you would like us to change the language, can you provide the language you'd like it to read? Excuse me? These letters are cut and pasted that are provided to us. We don't change the language, but if there's something you want changed, would you right. know we, you can, like that to we be? can just leave it like it is, and that's fine if it's uh, part of the letter submitted, not our minutes. Yeah. And there's no other corrections needed. I move. We approve the minutes from the three. So you second the motion? Or, oh, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll second the motion. Yes. Okay. So the minutes are being taken in block as amended. Um, Mr. Host was the made the motion. Captain Callis seconded. Ready for the roll call. Captain Avery? Aye. Mr. Bean? Aye. Captain Callis? Aye. Captain Chisman? Aye. Mr. Coleman? Aye. Captain Collins? Aye. Mr. Host? Aye. Mr. McDermott? Aye. Ms. Parasol? Aye. Unanimous, Madam Chair? All right, so we have a public comment period and I do not see anybody of the public to comment. So we will move to the exam administrator's report, Captain Callis. All right. Um, the examining committee met at 8.15 uh, a.m. Uh, in the Virginia National Terminals uh, Conference Room uh, this morning. Uh, committee members present were Captain Robert H. Callis III, Captain J. Whiting Chisman III, Captain E. Waitstill Avery, and Captain January N. Collins. The meeting was called to order at 8.25 a.m. The purpose of the meeting was to examine Zachary Stewart Dodson for a raising grade from a Bravo license, 34,000 gross tons and 31 feet maximum draft to a Charlie license, 38,000 gross tons and 34 feet maximum draft, and an extension of route upon the Chesapeake Bay from sea to Wolf Trap to include Cape Charles Anchorage. Zachary Stewart Dodson answered all questions related to the raising grade and the extension of route. The subjects included courses and distances from Cape Henry to Wolf Trap, safe anchoring positions in Sewell's Point, Lynn Haven, and Cape Charles, anchorage regulations in the regulated area, quarantine anchorage, uh, joint harbor operations command notification point, uh, York Spit Channel rules, safe anchoring uh, distance and underkill clearance, precautions and reduced visibility, local traffic and local knowledge, limitations of bow thrusters and determining the need for tugboat assistance for docking and undocking, and safe vessel speed. Uh, the committee adjourned at 9 for, uh, 945. 
and uh, Zachary Dodson successfully completed the oral examination uh, with the Board for Branch Pilots Examining Committee. After considering the results of the examination, the examining committee recommends Zachary Stewart Dodson for a raising grade from a Bravo license to a Charlie license and an extension of route from sea to wolf trap to include Cape Charles Anchorage. And that is a motion. Can I get a second? Second. That was Captain Collins. And any discussion? All right. Let's go. Uh, oh. Madam President, I'd just like to point out that the, uh, since the meeting is on March 12th, we'll, we will assume the, the upgrade on um, March 15th and midnight. So we will have had the Bravo license for six months. Okay. All right. Kate, you want to take a roll call? Yes, Captain Avery. Aye. Mr. Bean. Aye. Captain Callis. Aye. Captain Chisman. Aye. Mr. Coleman. Aye. Captain Collins. Aye. Mr. Host. Aye. Mr. McDermott. Aye. Ms. Parasol. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. All right. Um, as you know, we, we at the last meeting created a, a subcommittee to discuss the review of potential disciplinary complaints. The committee met twice and um, we went into closed session, which means that we have to go into closed session here to discuss. Um, Captain, um, Mr. Coleman, do you have a motion? Uh, uh, yes, I do, Madam President. Uh, I think before um, we go into closed session to talk about the legal advice we received, uh, well, our, our committee did meet uh, February 16 and March 2nd and uh, with the purpose of reviewing complaint processing procedures and our our objectives and purpose in our meeting was to um, we wanted to come up with a process that allowed everybody to fill their obligations to the Commonwealth and the public uh, while also addressing any issues with the APA and uh, due process. Um, the major concern of the, the committee and of the board is uh, surrounds tainting and disqualification of members. So uh, with that, uh, I would like to, uh, to uh, move that we move this meeting into uh, to recess and that the board immediately reconvene and close the meeting for purpose of consultation with legal counsel regarding specific legal matters requiring the provision of legal advice as permitted by section 2.23711.A8 of the Code of Virginia. Um, and then we ask that the following non-members be in attendance to reasonably aid in the consideration of the topic. Uh, Elizabeth P. Uh, as counsel, Heather Lockham, Lockerman as counsel, Mary Brosvon as deep board director, uh, Kate Novish as uh, our board executive director, and Bonnie Davis as, as administrative assistant. And this motion is being made with respect to the matter identified as agenda item process of reviewing potential disciplinary complaints. Did he include Jonathan Jordan? Oh, no, Jonathan will not be. Oh, he's not going to be in Yeah, they'll, they'll back him out. Okay. Is, well, there, is there a second? I'll second. And that was Captain Avery. Thank you. Uh, ready for the roll call? Yes. Captain Avery? Aye. Mr. Bean? Aye. Captain Callis? Aye. Captain Chisman? Aye. Mr. Coleman? Aye. Captain Collins? Aye. Mr. Host? Aye. Mr. McDermott? Aye. And Ms. Parasol? Aye. That's unanimous. And if uh, you all will bear with us a few minutes, we're going to move the board and council into a breakout room. And those that are participating virtually, um, if you would just hold tight until we come back into open session. Thank you. So we shut those doors. Keep the secret secret. <laughs>